I'm so glad you're back with me. So if you recall, we've been talking about narrative writing. And we talked about yesterday how narrative writing is a story. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it can be real or fake, right? Fiction or nonfiction. The other thing we talked about is creating strategies or using strategies to help us make a narrative. It's hard to make a story out of nowhere. So yesterday, we had this strategy, first times, last times, and turning points. And you told me some of the first times things happened for you in your life, um, some of your last times, like maybe the last time you saw a loved one, or turning points, major changes, like when my son was born, that was a major change. That was a strategy you used to help you write a narrative. So here's a new strategy I'm going to be teaching you today, and it's called a person that matters. So right now, I want you to think of one person in your life, just one, and I know you might say, Miss Horn, I've got lots of people that matter to me, but I want you to think of the ones you love the most. And I want you to put their name on your notebook. By the way, I'll show you again today on our table of contents, opening person that matters, page two. And then I'm going to want you to go to page two and label that as a two. Okay? While you're writing about your person that matters, I'll go ahead and tell you a little about mine. Mine is Larry Horn. You might say, oh, there's a horn there. That's true. It's because that's my dad. So that's the person that matters. Now, our strategy is to be going to think about how can I think about how this person, I can connect stories to this person moments that were particularly special when I think about this person. So, I have a few that I thought about before class today. I can pull it out of here. So some of the things I thought about, about this person that mattered was Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings with my dad were very special. Every Saturday, he turned on the music, our house was blaring. He would make pancakes in all kinds of special shapes. Oftentimes, he would build a tent inside of our house in the living room, and we would have a camp out that night and eat anything we wanted to. It was scandalous. So I'm going to put Saturdays. Saturdays with Dad. Another thing that I remembered about this person that mattered, stories that connected to him, um, were... Um, being his roadie. I'm going to put roadie. This is more about, is a roadie. What are you talking about? So my dad is a musician. He can play the piano, the guitar, um, the drums are his favorite. He can sing. And so growing up, um, some of those Saturdays were spent um, when he was doing concerts and he would just bring me along. I would help him set up his sound. And so I remember those very vividly too. Another thing I remember, this one's not as good, the time he allowed me to break my arm. Isn't that terrible? I'm gonna remember that time, and I remember it because my mother was mad as a hatter. She was not happy. Broken arm. So now, in the next five minutes, I would like you at your desk to think of at least three stories that connect to that special person. Then we're gonna write about them today. 